Now let's do something called making a camera view. And I'm going to do that from my new top of slab again. And um, I'll take a couple of different camera shots. That's under view. Here's my view. And under 3D views, you can make something called a camera view. So I'm going to stand over here and take a picture. And there it is. <laughs> and I can adjust the width of the view and the height of the view and all that kind of stuff. If I want to adjust the uh, camera eye height, I think I can do that down here. Here are my eye elevations. So if I want to be looking more up and be higher and look down, I can make that like 20 feet. And it changes how you're looking at it. So these are some things that are possible for you to do if you'd like. I think it usually puts you like six feet above the um, above whatever level you're standing on, which is kind of nice sometimes. You can also change to make it like a realistic, which is kind of nice. It'll take a little bit. And if you go into the edit the graphics display, you can do things like add background. Like if I knew what the background looked like, I could add it. Or you could add sky or gradient or an image. I think the gradient that just happens to come up looks pretty nice. So there we go. I'm going to show you how to change uh, these to be a little bit nicer. And of course, mine doesn't have any trees or anything in it either. Okay, but now that is a view and you can lock that view now. I suggest you do that so that uh, it doesn't try to re-render all the time and rename this. This is uh, um, new, uh, I'm just going to call it, this one is Moore and Bonnard new. Okay, now if I make a duplicate of this view and I want to make that show the existing and there are other ways to do this, by the way, <laughs> with phasing, but we're not doing that. We're not doing phasing in this. We're keeping it more simple. But I can do this as existing and I can hide that category. And I should have, I thought, I don't know why it didn't take all of those and hide them. That's, oh, because I locked it. This one shouldn't be locked. I need to unlock it. Should be able to catch stuff then. Oh, but it's not coming up. So, uh, this one I think I can. I know what to do really quick. Hide in view. Those elements. I don't know why those ones aren't showing. Aren't aren't showing as um, something I can select right now. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just go back to my top of slab existing. I'll get rid of that. I'll do it a slightly different way. I'm going to delete that view, and I'll do my camera view from here. Looks like I had multiple things in there. There we go. So those are hidden there. Let me go back to my new. Everything's there. Okay. So it's just playing around and making sure that things are hidden properly. So now let me go to my camera view over here. And I don't know why those are showing up. Hide in view that element. Hide in view that element. Hide in view those elements. There we go. We've got it now. And there's there's a, something there that's linked in. 
it's an import symbol that I can probably hide that import symbol. Okay, now if I go ahead and show this one, it shows the difference between those two views. Now, if you've put in your landscaping, this has a lot more power to it. Uh, and I can go and change the graphic display again, background, gradient, apply, OK. But this is important to be able to have what the new and the existing looks like from a number of different points. I should be able to save orientation and lock the view. Okay, so there we go. That's how you um, get some camera views from different points.